Good morning, you guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Annie, and we are back with another, we're gonna do a holiday lip today, you guys. Um, but before I get started, I wanna say welcome to all of my new followers. Thank you for tuning in and hanging out. Um, today we are going to be doing a bold lip, um, perfect for the holidays. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna achieve that today. Um, and before I even get started, any of the products I mentioned, if you tap uh, my face on your screen, a product, a product, excuse me, description box will show up and you can shop all of the mentioned products um, through that link. So yes, yeah, so uh, welcome back and let's get started. And before we begin, I already did most of my makeup today. I have, um, I prep my face, I have my foundation and concealer on, I've set with a powder, I have my brows, my eyes, my liner and my mascara on, but don't worry, I will list in the comments of the video all the products that I use so you guys know exactly what I used. Um, I was gonna come out here and finish my face with you like with some bronzer and highlight and blush and then do a bold lip. Um, so let's let's just jump on in, okay? So let's get started. So um, again, I have everything on my face so far except bronzer, contour, the most important part if you ask me. So let's get started. So um, I'm gonna bring a little bit of life back to my face. I am pale, you guys, pale, pale, pale. I have not self tanned. Um, I'm kind of waiting. We have our holiday pictures this weekend. So I am waiting to self tan till closer to Saturday. And also on Saturday, I will be at uh, Soul Sprint in Menor. It is our annual sip and shop our second year doing it and I will be there amongst other small business owners and we will be there and you can come and have a cocktail and get some shopping done and yeah it's gonna be awesome it's from four to eight again it's Cameron Cameron just throw a bucket um from four to eight and come and get your Christmas shopping done, get some inspo there's a lot of really awesome local vendors that are gonna be there so it's gonna be a lot of fun so good morning to everyone hopping on. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, this is like, I definitely want to do a lot of holiday looks for you guys. Um, this is like the time where everyone's getting their holiday photos taken. So this is why like this week, especially I want to come on here and post some looks that I would do or um, a lot of my tips for photography. And as we go, go along, I will explain. So tip for photography, where do I start? Number one, um, how do I say this? Okay. In this day and age, like we are like so technology advanced that, um, the photography and videography nowadays is so high def and it is so clear that if let's say you go to take holiday photos and maybe you don't put a lot of makeup on, you will look so washed out. And that is because the photography is so, like, it's so detailed and it shows everything. So here are my tips, because I'm getting holiday photos taken on Saturday. It's gonna be so fun. Um, and we just had them done in September, but I'm doing them again because I wanted them for other Christmas cards and stuff like that. And I like to have pictures of my son. However, of course, the mom and dads are going to jump in the photos. So we want to make sure you have um, your brows filled in, your contour on, put some blush on. Um, I know this sounds crazy and some people might be like, what is she talking about? No one cares. Like, yes, it makes a difference. If you take professional photos and you might not be wearing a lot of makeup, you're not going to like how they look. I'm telling you right now. So these are my tips and tricks. Um, and I'm going to get into this more because this week I'm going to come on here at nighttime. And I'm going to do some um, eye makeup looks because everyone wants to see some glitter and some fun looks. Good morning, everyone hopping on. So I wanted to do that. Now, um, those looks are coming, so be patient. This week is nuts because <laughs> I have family photos and my whole uh, event Saturday night. So I'm trying to get everything organized. So I'm also trying to come out here to like at night, like I'm running around like a crazy person. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, we will get on here to do some looks, but basic 101, like makeup artistry is when you are going in front of a, like a, like a camera for photos, 
you have to put some makeup on. Think of it like this. Think of, and this is, you just bear with me with this analogy. So when little, so think of little girls who are like have a dance recital or whatever the case is, and they're really young. And you see how their moms like might put a ton of blush on their faces or um, some lipstick on them. That is because from far away, you want to be able to see their features so they don't look like a ghost. So you don't have to take it to that far. You don't have to walk you know, on set to wherever you are for your holiday photos with like pink cheeks and red lips. What I'm saying is, is you need to have something to make you look alive. Um, otherwise you're not going to like them. And that's just me being completely honest with you guys. So take the time, throw some makeup on, watch some of my videos. You guys know now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are watching and you guys can totally do these looks on your own. The, the reason why I'm here is to teach you guys that you guys can do these looks at home and look amazing. So don't be afraid. But you gotta, you gotta fill in your brows, you gotta contour, you gotta put some lipstick on. That is my rant. Now, I'm gonna show you what my, like I love a bold lip. Um, sometimes, like I can't decide, like if I'm going to a holiday party, I'm like, oh, should I do a bold lip or should I do a really fun eye? You know, um, you could do both. You do not have to just pick one. If you wanna go for, go for the stars, you could totally do both. Most people just feel comfortable doing one. And I feel that way too sometimes. Like sometimes I'll do a really bold eye and I'm like, woo girl, we're gonna do like a nude lip. Or sometimes I'll be like, eh, I don't feel like doing a lot of eyeshadow today. I'm gonna do a bold lip. So I kind of flip flop them around. But let me show you today my tips and tricks for what I do um, and how I like uh, the products I use. They're like long lasting, they stay on. Um, so yeah, so we'll get into that. But first, what I'm doing, what I have just kind of talked right through, is I just contoured. I applied um, my Hermosa bronzer and some MAC shade stir. It's a matte shade in my contour zones. I'm going to go ahead now and apply some highlights. I really like using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder mixed with my Unique um, Iridescent Highlighter. I use this Iridescent Highlighter from Unique almost every single day, if not every single day. Um, it is my absolute favorite. And it really brings a beautiful glow to your face. I like a very highlighted um, cheekbone area. It's just what I prefer. And um, for photography, since we're on the topic of getting photos done, um, it looks nice. And let me just say this. I'm sitting here talking about like photography. You guys, the, the phones, I'm not like the cameras and the iPhones are getting better and better. They're just as good. So these rules go for like, you know, hey, say you're, you know, maybe your sister or someone is taking your photo for you. Um, same thing. You're going to want to put some makeup on. So don't be shy. Be confident. Rock a lip, rock an eye. My son's next to me, literally pissing about this one part of the movie he loves. He's sitting in his cute little chair, hanging out. He is coming with me to work today, so we are just getting ready um, to head out the door. But yeah, so that's my other thing too. Sitting here like pointing, you guys are like a teacher. Um, the phone, the cameras on the iPhones are getting better and better and better and better. Um, when I work. Like on clients, I will always bring a professional camera with me to take photos. But nowadays, my iPhone 10, my iPhone 10 takes great pictures. So keep that in mind. Even if like someone like a family or friend or whatever is doing the photos, throw some makeup on. Okay, so that is my rant. I know you guys are probably like, oh my God. No, it's important. Um, I'm going to throw on some blush. I'm going to use the shade Seductive. It is my favorite fall blush. I've been using this every single day. And I'm going to make the blush face and I'm going to apply to my cheeks, cheekbones, nope, apples on my cheeks and work it back. All right. So I love blush. So I always tend to put more blush on than most people would want. Um, if you ever feel like you put too much on, you can always go back with your powder brush, but that is just how I like my blush. So let's get into the fun part because I purposely did my mascara and brows off camera because I really want to talk about um, a holiday bold lip, 
Um, you guys can like do anything. Everyone's skin tone is different. Reds look different on different people. Um, I particularly don't look good in like orange reds. I can pull off more blue tone reds. Um, reds that have more of a blue undertone, which they're, they're more like crimson looking reds. Um, and they have more of a blue tone in them that helps to make your teeth look whiter. So, uh, so yeah, so I like, like on myself personally, I don't, I cannot pull off a red orange lip. My sister Josephine can rock a red orange lip and she always looks awesome in it, but it does not, it does not, not my friend with my skin tone. So this holiday season, um, bold lips, try it. Um, it doesn't have to be red. It could be berry. It could be like a deeper mauve nude. It could be a brown nude. Just something. Um, you guys just try it out. You're going to love it. And then take a photo. And you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm looking so good. And I'm like, I told you. I told you. This is why makeup is fun. Because it's not permanent. And if you don't like it, you can just take it off. But you're going to love it. So, it's not so serious. So let's do this. I'm gonna line my lips today. Now, I'm using, I have raved about these lip stains. I have talked about them since August. You guys know I love them. I'm gonna use Sultry today because it is a red lip. I'm wearing like a leopard shirt. I'm like, you know what, a really pretty red lip will be awesome. I'm probably gonna top it with some gloss, um, but what my whole rant is today is if you are wearing a bold lip, you need to use a liner. Um, our liners are smudge proof, waterproof. I have, a lot of them. I carry them with me all the time. I'm going to tell you guys my favorites um, because they're going to give you a good uh, range of color. So I have, don't judge me, I told you I have a lot. Um, my favorite probably hands down would be um, Plush, which is a really beautiful nude. Okay, you see that right there. It's a really pretty nude. Plush and um, Pouty. Pouty is my favorite. Pouty reminds me of, uh, if you guys are familiar with MAC lip liners, Soar. This reminds me of Soar from MAC. Um, I love Prim. This is um, Asterisk and Eyeliner because our eyeliners have the same formula as our lip liners. And um, Pompous, I use all the time. This is a berry. And this is Posh, which I don't know what happened to my lid. I think it's in this bag. And the last one I use a lot, a lot, a lot, is this purple shade, which is also an eyeliner. And there goes that lid flying. And this is in the shade, um, what is this shade? Purposeful. So these are what I like to use. Do you need all these? No, absolutely not. But you need a liner when you are using a bold lip. And you also need your concealer handy just in case you, for whatever reason, make a mistake. Um... You want to be, when you're doing your lip liner, you want to be at a place where you're not like in the car or something. You want to have time to put it on because when you're using a dark shade, it is definitely harder to clean up if you make an error. So right now, I had on chapstick. I had on my lip bonbon, but I kind of wiped most of it off. And I'm going to go in with sultry. Now, this is a lip stain. I do not technically need a lip liner with this because this is a stain. You totally can. Um... Let's I'm just going to put one on so I show you guys. Because I'm using a lip stain today, I'm going to use a color that's like the same as my lip color today. So I'm going to use, um, where is it? It was just in front of me. Where'd it go? Okay. We are going to use Pouty. It is like a really pretty lip color. It's very neutral. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I line. So if you are going to overline, let me just say this. If you are going to overline, focus your overline right on your cupid's bow area. I don't necessarily overline, um, but some people do, which is totally fine. You do you, boo. This is just an everyday shade. And then I'm going to apply this right here. So... Again, if I overline at all, what I even suggest to you guys is keep your overlining in this area. When you start to overline down here, it gets a little bit messy and you want to stay, you know, not sloppy. You don't want a sloppy, a sloppy line. Okay, so this is just an everyday live line, okay? Now, I'm going to go in with Sultry because Sultry is this beautiful red. I love it. I use it all the time. It's one of my faves. And I like the lip stains because they don't transfer. 
So after I get off this video, I'm gonna scoop up my son. We're gonna head off to work. And when I kiss his head a hundred times, he is not going to get lipstick on his head. That is why I love the lip stains. That sounds crazy, but it's totally true. Um, yes, other lipsticks transfer. And yes, I don't have, you know, but what I'm saying is, is these don't. So when you're at a holiday party and you're talking, having a glass of wine or Prosecco, whatever you drink, it's nice to know that your lips aren't going to budge. So this is sultry. Okay, this is a dark. be really careful now what you could do is you could also make this an ombre look you can add nude to the middle So I love a red lip. This Saturday when we go take pictures, your girl's wearing a red lip. Um, this is why I love the lip stains because they don't transfer. But some people, this might be too much for them. So you can always ombre it out with a little bit of a nude in the middle. Um, you can use your concealer. You can tap a little bit of concealer in the center of your lips to ombre it out. Um, I could do that for you guys to show you. And I wait. For the lip stain to dry to go back and add more what are you doing kim today cameron found his easter basket hanging out in the closet where he put it last and now that is our new toy every day there's a new toy that we have to bring with us somewhere or take around with us today is an easter basket so isn't this pretty really pretty now I love this. Some people don't like a dark lip. Try it, but you can always ombre it out. How I would do it, um, I would add a little bit of a nude in the center. You can use a lip powder, you can use a liquid lipstick, um, you could put a nude gloss. The possibilities are endless, girls. You could do whatever you feel. Um, I think I might, I kind of want to leave this, but I want to show you guys for, actually, I'll post a photo of myself when I did do that. I want to leave the red for today. Because if I don't find my, my lip powder, oh, here it is. I found it. Okay, let me ombre it off for you. If I didn't find this, I wasn't going to do it. This is the lip powder in Koi. This is a really pretty nude. I'm just going to apply this just to the center of my lips. This is what we're going to do. Let me get my little mirror. Use your finger. And you can lighten it up. You could definitely go more lighter than this. I don't really want to. I want the red lip for today. What I am going to do, though, is add a gloss. So, let's see. Let's see the gloss I want to use today. This is the shade Lippy. This is a unique product. Put a little bit of gloss. that pretty you guys so that was the lip stain and sultry with the lippy and or the lip gloss in the shade lippy i put a little bit of koi uh lip cameron what are you doing this boy is testing my patience cameron don't you dare do that mm -mm. what are you <laughs> okay so lip stain and sultry lip powder and koi and this was the lucrative lip gloss in the shade lippy okay you guys can shop these products like i said in the beginning of the video tap my face on the screen and we are out me and cam we gotta go we gotta just get to work i don't know what he's doing he's plotting something 
I literally cannot, but I'm gonna lift you up so you guys can see how pretty a bold lip is, okay? And um, the shadows I used today on my eyes, I actually used them in my last video, so I will post all those shades that I used. But this is the final look. Hold on, last trick. That'll get off the inner rim of your lip, so don't forget that trick. But yes, if you are wearing a bold lip this season, rock it out, girl. Um, enjoy it, take pictures. I feel like it might be out of your comfort zone, try it. And when you try it, let me know how much you love it. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I will be back for some more holiday looks. Bring on the glitter. Bring on the false lashes. If you're not ready, get ready. Okay, we'll be back soon. Bye, guys.